All right, today I'm gonna be showing you how to make money for pennies on dollar, literally the IRL, IRL money glitch of 2022. If you live near Houston, this is so funny. I find it so crazy actually, because if you're into the 3D printing scene, you know how cheap it is. <laughs> it is insanely cheap. And I came across this on Reddit and it's actually really funny. So first, let me get into the backstory. Houston Police is hosting a buyback program. This is essentially a program that's supposed to get guns off the streets. Well, that's what it shows in the public image, right? We're taking guns off the streets. But in all reality, are they really taking guns off the streets? I'll let you think about that. But this is what they offer for their guns. I'm going to play this video. Hopefully it doesn't get caught right right We'll go ahead and mute the audio. So for a non-functioning gun... They are offering $50 for a rifle or shotgun, $100. A handgun, 150 And an AR, yeah, an automatic, is $200. Just let that sit. A non-functioning gun for $50. What is classified as a non-functioning gun? A lower receiver? Or an upper receiver, I'm pretty sure. How much does it cost to print a lower receiver or upper receiver? Well, let me let me tell you this. A roll spool costs twenty five dollars for a PLA. PLA plus, like some on the higher end, probably thirty five. How many guns can you print with that? With that big old spool, you can probably print lower. Okay, I'm gonna say this real quick. YouTube, we are not advising people to print guns or any illegal activities. I'm not trying to get copyright striked because I don't want to remake this video. But anyways, a lower receiver, you can probably print. From one roll of spool that costs thirty-five dollars, a lower receiver for about two dollars. So what's your profit margin on that? <laughs> look at this. You're gonna have to look at it. Okay. So on Reddit, we go to Reddit, and I see this. Look at all. There's that's a Liberator right there. They got that from Odyssey or Libre. Look at all these lower ends for this Glock. Look at all of these. So. Authorities said they describe these as ghost guns, which yeah, they're you know, what, what can you do about that? But they sold they turn in 62 3d printed guns for a hundred and fifty dollars each at the Houston buyback. How much is that? Okay, let's do it. Let's do the math real quick cuz I can't do the math in my head right now <laughs> So 62 guns for a hundred and fifty dollars each. That's nine thousand three hundred dollars and I can tell you right now all these right here, these 62 lower receiver guns, whether they're functioning or non-functioning, it did not cost more than $150 to make each one of them. This piece right here probably costed a dollar to print. The metal is probably the most expensive part. All the mechanism and everything is most expensive. This whole gun right here, I've heard it costed people between 3 and $5. Let that sink into you. That is a IRL money glitch going on right now at Houston. So if you're in Houston and you're in the scene, you know what Foss Cat is, you know what the Gatalot is, Print Shoot and Repeat, you know what um, Reno May, who else is there? Uh, Control Pew, who else is there? That's it, that's all I really know. But <laughs> you guys gotta get on this right now because this is literally like, what is this? This is a joke. A joke. Literally. So even if these were non-functioning guns and they were 62, 62 times $50 is still $3,100. That's insane. If someone's running a print farm with tons of printers, it's basically, <laughs> it's basically a money glitch. And look at this one right here. So this person went to Houston Buyback and they made $850. This is from FOSCAD from people for pennies in the dollar. And look what they, they submitted. They're not even fully put together guns. That's crazy. It's insane. <laughs> it's really funny. This is the news report. This is a news report. We could soon learn just how many firearms were surrendered after the city of Houston held its first gun buyback program this morning. Fox 26's Shelby Rose was there. She has the story. Long lines surround Wheeler Avenue Baptist Church. So they had this at a church. Now, my prediction is that they're going to have another one. And I find it very funny that 
<laughs> people went to this and turned in 3D printed ones to buy back because it's basically a money glitch guys $50 for a non-functioning gun that costs less than a dollar to make for even a lower receiver and if you assemble a full AR $200 just let that sink in so yeah I just want to report on this it was pretty funny I didn't see anybody else posting anything on YouTube because it's, it's, it's in the it's in the reddit if you don't know what reddit is it's basically like a community forum very popular it's like um it's like a form but most of the time stuff from reddit doesn't make its way to youtube so i wanted to make that bridge to youtube and odyssey and libre um but yeah it's pretty funny uh if you guys are in the 3d printing scene hopefully you guys get on, on this because you know it's what is it free gas money if you live over here i know some people are traveling across the country to go to this because they're unloading all their 3d printed stuff just for the gift cards it is funny but yeah, who would have thought? And um, honestly, 3D printed stuff, I, there's really nothing you can do. You can't stop the signal. Like, once it's on a decentralized blockchain or it's on a peer to peer platform, look at Torrents. How does a movie stream handle pirating? They don't. They don't know how to handle it. There's no way. You can't stop a torrent. Once something's uploaded to the internet, it's there forever. And quite literally, people spread it so fast. It's like fake news. Exact same way. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like and subscribe so I can sync my channel to Odyssey. Once I get to 100 subscribers, we are 99 subscribers away. And, yeah, it's pretty funny. Hopefully, you guys jump on this deal right here and make some money, like 10K like this guy did. That's insane.